Folks, Sunday night, special event, the end of Murder Hobo Con. Thanks for joining us. We really appreciate that. Uh, I know there's some kind of game on that maybe you're interested in, maybe not. If you're here, you aren't interested in it, so welcome aboard. Uh, we are Murder Hobo Inc. Follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, join our Discord. If you want cool things like shirts, phone cases, duvet covers, pillows, shower curtains, uh ladies undergarments which is a different site uh <laughs> there somewhere so take a look at that if you're in the uh market for some custom dice which i do not have in front of me uh go on over to twitter and find at pirate dog dice tell them what you want see if they got time to do it see if they have the desire to do it they might tell you to piss off hard to say uh and <laughs> everything stinks uh unlike this this is this is the scent of success right now. Uh, go on over to oddfishgames.com. Check out their adventure scents line. There's 60 different scents to tickle your nose, uh, except for Putrid Sewer, which uh, made Kyle gag and nearly killed him, which was a hilarious event because it was streamed live at the time. Uh, Kyle did, however, live. Uh, they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be a writer like me, only write gooder. Uh, check out their shine system. That being said, this is a special event, Cinder Fella at Murder Hobo Con. Uh, let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you laugh, cry, or say, you're stupid, Frank. Uh, we'll start uh, on my screen to the left. Linda, Linda, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Linda. Um, I usually go by Nelfar with all the games that I'm playing. And I am playing Gobi the Intellectual. I am a wizard. And I'm important because I'm cool. Wow. You're really <laughs> adding into that one. <laughs> uh, David, you are up next. Who are you? Who are you playing? All right. Uh, I am David. I found Murder Hobo Con via just tabletop.events, but I've had a great time so far. Um, I am playing Kelly the Hill Dwarf, um, Knowledge Domain, uh, and uh, you know I'm just looking to bring some divine aid to those who might need it. Having played with these other three before, they're going to need all the divine aid you can muster. <laughs> right. uh, speaking of divine aid, Eddie, you're up next. Who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, I am Eddie, and I am playing uh, Shakes the Rogue. Shake, but don't shake the rogue. It's bad for my nose. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how that yeah. goes tonight. Uh, last but certainly not least, John. Who are you? Who are you playing? I'm John Lapointe. I thought I was playing Smooka, the half orc fighter, but I can't find the character sheet. So you you've only had it a million times. <laughs> I've played him like once. Uh, twice, actually. I think you played him in Gen Con and then the other day. Oh, okay. Okay. No, you're right. Twice. Thank you. Okay. Once, once in a while, I get it right. Third you time. To, right. You need me to send it to you? I'm looking through my uh, email to try to see if I can find it. Um, hmm. well, no well, luck you... so far. Well, I, I'll go ahead and send it. While you do that, I'm going to go ahead and explain. These sure. folks are in the city of Hartwood. Uh, it's a smaller city, uh, but as you see before them, um, you know, it's got some places to hang out with. Uh, last night, these guys uh, were not invited, of course, but there was a ball <laughs> thrown at Count Valentine's Keep, which is that big thing with the walls around it. And during that time, his love-struck daughter... Oh boy, she uh, she met a guy. <laughs> and she, she has not shut up about this guy, and Count Valentine is just sick and tired of hearing about it. Uh, there's not much known about it, but you guys have just come back from Dagger Tooth, the city I use all the time, uh, and you guys are kind of hero types. These guys are third level, by the way. Uh, so he's going to call you in to the keep and ask you guys for a favor. Uh, let's see. Uh, you guys were interrupted at the inn where you were eating lunch. Uh, but after you finish your meal and you ponder what kind of 
thing this count guy has for you. Uh, you head on over, and you, as you leave the Crown and Goat Tavern, what a dumbass name, uh, you head up the hill towards the keep. So the keep is on the high ground. Everything else is below. Uh, the big building is uh, the temple, of course, at the bottom of the screen, because, you know, gods are important, as David will go ahead and confirm. Uh, the Count will go ahead and explain that his young, impressionable daughter uh, was smitten by one of the guests and desires to meet him again. Uh, he will explain that he'd like the party to kind of track down this guy and determine if he's okay or a jerk. Uh, okay. Problem is, uh, he doesn't know who he is. <laughs> he doesn't know his name. Uh, and his daughter's not much help, but if you guys would like to talk to her, uh, he can call her in. That's your well, do we have a description or anything? Yeah, well, hopefully he can give, she can give us more information because he is giving yeah. us nothing. Yeah, yeah I well. certainly hope so. He can't tell you shit, so uh, he signals for one of the guards. The guard opens up the door, and this beautiful young 16-year-old girl wanders in, uh, and she runs over to Dad, and she's like, are, are these the people who are going to find him? Oh, he was such a dreamboat. Uh, this is uh, Contessa Amare, uh, and she will answer any questions you have. Not all at once, though. Yeah. And Tessa, what did uh, what did this stranger look like? Oh, he's about six feet tall, with dark hair and and just piercing blue eyes, and just a smile that lights the room. I think he had on a blue shirt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And he's gorgeous. Did I mention he's gorgeous? With a <laughs> smile and the eyes. Do you know his name? No. But we're looking for a gorgeous guy in a blue shirt. Yep. <laughs> that own, no, that owns a blue shirt. Uh, oh, okay. every, everybody give me a perception check. It, it could have been borrowed. Could have been borrowed. That it's wore a blue, blue shirt last night. There we go. We got, that. We got it. Uh, Nat won. John, are you ready for this? <laughs> a 15. Uh, Linda, Eddie, and David, uh, you you notice as John stares longingly at uh, the Contessa that uh, <laughs> the Count himself is just kind of rolling his eyes and mm -hmm. shaking his head mm -hmm. as she just looks up to the sky and, oh, he's just so beautiful, blah, blah, mm -hmm. blah, mm -hmm. and he waves her off. Mm -hmm. uh, she goes back into the uh, antechamber. The guard shuts the door and stands there. Mm -hmm. uh, also mm -hmm. present in this room uh, is a cleaning lady as well as the chancellor who takes mm -hmm. care of the day-to-day -day stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the count says, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I got nothing else. Okay. Do you have a, a guest list or anything uh, of that nature? I, I, I will turn you over to the chamberlain. Uh, he okay. might have that information. Uh, I have important affairs of state, <laughs> uh, and uh, I, I need to leave. Everybody give me insight. Ooh. 21. 13. Uh, this many. Six. <laughs> I got a dirty 20. Nice. 21. Linda. Uh, yeah. You see, you see a stuffy looking dude eh, kind of nice clothing uh and you notice the hand wave over towards him uh he will be Craigor, the castle steward okay uh david you notice the guard uh mm -hmm. acting strangely you know giving mm -hmm. you the mm -hmm. uh eddie uh you notice that your shoes need shine they're they're just really scuffy you know i have been meaning to get that taken care of Yes. And John, you noticed that the uh, chambermaid uh, kind of eyeballs left and right. Uh, so there are only three people besides you guys in this room. All three of them okay. seem to be acting weird. Mm -hmm. uh, so which one would you like to start with? I would I like to start with the castle steward since that's the one I noticed. 
I have one vote, Castle Stewart. I mean, he he seems like he may have the guest list, which is probably better information than anything else you've gotten so far. I am Gregor the Castle Steward. How may I assist? Well, you hello, good sir. I understand that there was a thing in the Contessa Mara Smitten with this tall young man with blue eyes. And I was wondering if um, you might have anyone on the guest list that matches that description. Uh, he looks at each one of you and says, you mean the soiree, not the thing, you plebeian individual? Yes, it was a grand party by invitation only, but there was no guest list. We don't do it that way. Well, um, whom did you invite to the soiree? I invited several notable individuals. The individual that you seek, however, I don't believe I am aware of him. I think I've seen him around. Uh, I believe he's a gambler type. I'm not sure how he got in here. I only noticed him as he was fleeing after accosting our beloved Contessa. Oh. What does accosting mean in this situation? Someone like that won't mix with someone like her. She needs mm. someone mm -hmm. more important. Okay. Stately, if you will. Mm, okay, so so what you're saying is she's rebelling here and going for somebody below her station. I would never deign to accuse her of anything so rude. Mm, okay. Well, I retract my statement. I apologize. Well done, kind sir. A man of the cloth should know his place. Mm -hmm. I suggest to the rest of the party, if this guy's a gambler, why don't we check out the local gambling dens? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely oh, no. a good place to start, but I, I definitely want to talk to the guard. He seemed to be calling me over with his eyes. Um, he, As you guys walk over, I assume that works for everybody? Yeah. Yes. I, mm -hmm. I was going to thank us for being kind, being kind and speaking to us. Yes, it was my pleasure. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Well, uh, uh, David, you approached the guard who uh, just bolts upright, uh, mm -hmm. standing at guard, um, mm -hmm. moves his spear across the door where mm -hmm. the young Contessa went. Oh, oh I, assu oh, I assure you. are not you, out allowed to enter this area. I assure you I have, I have no interest in following her. I was actually looking to talk with you. Were you working at the, um, the event last night? I am the Contessa's personal bodyguard. I am always with her. Well, the uh, the Chamberlain said that she was accosted last night. Were you nearby? He exaggerates the situation. Mm -hmm. She was, shall we say, smitten with mm -hmm. one of the individuals who mm -hmm. appeared dashing, if that is the kind of type that you're interested in. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, since we are trying to find him, I'm very interested at the moment. Um, to what each would you... their own. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> but uh, did you happen to notice anything else about the man? We've heard he had a blue shirt and that he was the most gorgeous man in the whole land. But uh, He danced like a goat. It does not sound quite attractive, but perhaps I don't understand human customs. Well, for someone claiming to be a musician, he didn't seem to have any rhythm. Mm, okay. Very good, then. Uh, you didn't happen to catch his name, did you? Actually, I think he did. Uh, no, he did not. Uh, he has seen him at a local gambling establishment known as the Queen of Hearts. Mm-hmm. And real quick, I need to back up to Kragor. Mm -hmm. uh, he had third-hand knowledge that the young man was in a band, and he okay. would suggest routinely checking the Loving Arms Inn as they have uh, open mic night. Okay. My apologies. Uh, okay. I want to go talk to the maid, see if she has any more information. Mm -hmm. Uh. 
Lydia, the chambermaid, uh, sees you for approach and immediately uh, expedites her cleaning, trying to avoid eye contact. But once you guys come up to her, she stops and asks uh, what she can do for you. We wanted to know if you had any knew anything about the gentleman that the uh, Contessa was dancing with last night. Oh, he was a very charming young man in the blue shirt. Yes. Yeah, that's uh, the one. I happen to notice him. Uh, he once pinched my fanny at the Cherub's Cup Tavern, as a matter of fact. He's quite handsy. Well, do, do, you, do you know him well enough that he should be touching you that way? Well, he is charming, and he does have a smile that lights up a room. Oh, this is true. Uh, did you at least get the gentleman's name? No, I'm afraid I'm not. I, I did not. I just uh, have seen him uh, from time to time uh, at the at the tavern. Well, thank you so much for your help. Oh, hang on. Now that you mention it, I think his name was Flint. Flint Ryder, I believe is his name. I'm going to give her a copper piece for her trouble. Wow, big spender. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, daddy. Wow, whole copper. Thank mm -hmm. you. Do I look like I build Nikes in the Philippines? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll give her a silver. I'll give her a silver. Thank you, my lord. If there's anything else I can do, uh, give me a call. <laughs> there you go you've talked to three witnesses <laughs> and we have three different locations we can look for this guy now mm -hmm. yep. the cherub's cup tavern uh the uh queen of hearts gambling establishment mm -hmm. and the uh, loving arms in the loving arms in mm. so you got three choices well, I suppose how much of a degenerate gambler do we think he is? And is it uh, an appropriate gambling time that we might think he'd be around? You guys are adventurers. Well, every well, honest, honestly, uh, <laughs> every time that one has money is the appropriate gambling mm. time. Well, it sounds like now is the perfect gambling time because I'm sitting on some coins. Okay. Are, let's, are any let's... of them copper, big spender? No, I, 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 I'll have you know I have a total of 12 gold pieces. Oh, there you all go. Right, all Just right. Burning a oh. hole in my pocket. Oh. So you got three choices. Uh -huh. or my vote is gambling hall. Okay, the gambling hall is fine with me. Yeah. yeah, worst case, we might make a buck or two. Yeah. That's yeah. true. Yep. Gambling hall is fine. That's a good starting point. Okay. Uh, the gambling hall is... Wow, I wrote a shit ton of things. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the longer ones. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. <laughs> It's this one. <laughs> okay. Uh, after a quick discussion, you guys believe, who would know better than this strange individual than the guard who has feelers out in the community? That seems like a safe bet. You can relate to the guy. Uh, you know, who doesn't like to throw some dice or play some cards? This cute guy might uh, hold a dark secret, and, you know, your job is to figure out whether he's suitable enough to date uh, Amari or not. So uh, you guys head on down this road. Uh and you, you leave the keep and you hang an immediate right uh, because the gambling hall is uh, <coughs> in a rougher neighborhood a little bit. Uh, and as you leave the main road, you notice that uh, uh, the lower class of people are present here going about their daily lives, uh, washing things, caring for livestock. Uh, and... You guys have been here a couple of days, so you know exactly where this place is. Uh, as a matter of fact, you'll know where most of these places are because you are astute, heroic adventurers. So <laughs> you guys decide to go down the back road here, uh, see some people, 
Uh, they give you the, the side eye. You know, they don't care. They just want to go about their lives and uh, be ignored. Uh, and as you get closer, you can see the gambling hall off in the distance. Uh, but there's a small problem here. Uh, about 30 yards ahead, you see a group of individuals coming towards you wearing green monk robes. Uh, they appear to be quite determined in their direction of travel, which is going to intersect you directly. Uh, maybe maybe you should get out of their way, because you don't know a lot about these guys, but you know that uh, there's going to be a problem. Uh, so you can attempt to interact with them, or just get out of their way and let them pass. Not that big a deal. What I can intimidate them. I have the intimidation skill. It's up to you guys. I mean, if you're looking to get in a fight, maybe we save it for when we have to convince this man to come back to the castle after all you know, right, pinching all the maid's right. butt and accosting <laughs> the princess. Uh, I, I, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll get out of the road. I'll get out of the road if that's what the rest of the party wants to do. I'm fine. I'm fine with moving out of the way. Yeah, I can find a nice door we can lurk in. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, you guys take a few steps back. Everybody, give me perception. Twenty-two. Five. 15. Nine. Nine. Uh, Eddie and David, uh, you two notice that uh, the the eyeballs are just mm -hmm. drilling holes uh, mm -hmm. on these green monk robes, mm -hmm. but they aren't looking at you guys. Mm -hmm. And as you follow their sight line, there's a group of orange-robed monks mm -hmm. approaching ah. from the side. Mm -hmm. And you guys are going to be right in the middle a moment later a scream is heard knocking john out of his perceptive stupor and you guys notice uh crap you are in the middle of the fight mm. they all draw weapons and they come charging you guys look like you're going to be collateral damage so everybody roll initiative all right Ooh. Ooh. it's all big trouble in little china you know what this is mm -hmm. Ooh. 18. 11. 14. Oh, there we go. 22. Eddie, you are up first. Uh, green, orange. Uh, and you guys are stuck in the middle. <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to, in the doorway that I'm lurking in, I'm going to open the door okay. so we can get out of the street. Sure. No, I, I think that sounds like a very reasonable uh, D12 against me. Seven. Eight. Luck is with you as the door is unlocked. However, as you throw it open, a lady in an apron holding a dead chicken and a handful of feathers is like, hey, what are you doing in my house? Oh, here, let me help you with that. Give <laughs> <laughs> strength check to push her out of the way. Ooh. It's round one and I'm already a bully. Um, that's not going to fly. That's a three. Minus one is a two. The stout woman doesn't appear to allow just any hoo-ha to come on into her room. She stands tall saying, get out of my house. Uh, we were 18. John, uh, you saw Eddie try and get into a house, aka burglarize. Uh, what do you want to do? Uh, let me see. Can I hold my action uh, yes. until... Yeah, uh, I'll wait to see if anyone attacks me, and then I'll attack back. Sure. Uh, 15 from the cultist as they, ah, Xena it. Uh, they are going to charge in. Uh, Linda, D12 against me. Okay. Okay. Four. One. One. Uh, you're getting attacked by odd even. Even an orange monk. Uh, David, okay. D12 against me. Five. Eight. Uh, you are not going to get attacked. However, two combatants, one green, one orange, are right up in your grill as they mm -hmm. go after each other. Mm -hmm. Eddie, uh, along with the chicken killer, uh, D12 against me. Oh, fantastic. Oh, I got a nice. Uno. Uno. Uh, ah. Guess what? You're going to get an odd even. Even an orange guy's coming after you because he's dating the chicken lady. John, <laughs> 12 against me. You got it. 
Five. Three. You're getting somebody. Six. Even. The orange monks hate you guys thinking that you are with the green ones. So, mm -hmm. David, you're the only one cool. that doesn't have an opponent, correct? Oh, yes. So, Linda, on you. Four. I swing uh, taking my scimitar and smashing off a few roof shingles. Eddie. Oh. Uh, a two. Uh, I nearly fall over as I slip in chicken remains just outside the door uh, and do not hit you. Uh, uh, 11 plus 3, 14, John. Uh, oh, to hit? Uh, yep. I'm armor class 18. Uh, it clangs off your armor. Now, you held your action. You so have I'm going to smack him right back. There you go. AC 12 for these cultists, boys oh, and girls. Oh, I got an 11. Just missed. Swing and a miss. We move to the 14. Linda, you are up. Uh, you have been attacked. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to do what I was going to do at first and cast Mage Armor on myself. Sure. Good call. And David, uh, you got nothing. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, I guess. Friendly to you. Well, since I haven't been directly attacked, perhaps I have a couple moments to think. We've been in town a bit. Do I happen to know anything about why the green and orange monks might have enmity towards each other? Uh, the monks worship twin uh, deities, okay. uh, Romulus and Remus. Okay. Mm -hmm. Clearly, each mm -hmm. has a different opinion on who should be the rightful champion mm -hmm. in the historical terms. Neither mm -hmm. of them is correct. Only the mm -hmm. Greeks were correct. So okay. mm -hmm. uh, you did, you would have that insight, especially since you are cleric. Okay. All right. And then the orange ones have been attacking my friends. So I guess I'm just going to attack the orange one in front of me and hope the green ones decide we're friendly so we can go past them. Sure. Um, Odd, but... it'll be Linda's. Even yeah. it'll be Eddie's. Okay. 19 odd, it will be Eddie's is the closest one to you. All right. Well, I am going to take out my Warhammer and take a swing. David, just so you know, in yeah. Philbar, house rules are if you roll a one, you do not miss. You hit one of these guys. All right, that's... <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll understand, I'm sure. Well, well not no, only just in time, I rolled a one. Boom, baby. Uh, roll a D4. One is Linda. Two, you hit yourself. Three, you hit Eddie. And four, you hit Con. All right. Let's see. That is oh, a two. Two, you hit yourself. Take half damage. All right. So luckily, I rolled a one on my D8 here. So that is two damage to myself. Well, you take half. Oh, one damage to myself. Excellent. Yeah. So Just hit myself right on the toe. There you go. New round. Uh, the green monks and orange monks are interlocked in a battle to the death, or at least an ass beating. Eddie, you had the 22. Uh, you get to react first. Your guy stumbled as he tried to attack you. David, in turn, uh, hit himself in the foot. Uh, mm -hmm. Probably a section eight or just trying to get out of the military. <laughs> you know, I should have just cast Sacred Flame, but, you know, these guys seem dexterous. So. That's true. <laughs> So, Eddie, yeah, what do you want to do? I mean, these I mean, daggers are going to turn themselves. I mean, I'll just uh, pop this guy next to me. Don't be shaking it. <laughs> ah, that is going to be a 21 to hit. Oh, easily. You stabbed this religious turd right in the spine. All right. And I believe that's a sneak attack opportunity since my cleric here is in the way. It is. Cool. I've played a Rogan forever, and I love it. Well, let's get into it. Get it. Like it. <laughs> Are you throwing all your dice in that tower? <laughs> yes, I am. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Wow. For uh, seven damage. Seven damage. Uh, I was not lying. He has got him right between the uh, uh, scapulas. It's right in there, and he is <laughs> hurting bad. Uh, blood flows clearly over his orange robe next up is john john blood has been spilled yes i am going to attack the nearest orange monk robed monk that Damn would be it. the one on you trying to hit you uh well apparently i hit one of my compatriots so mm. uh, i love that it. Early. baby roll that d4 let's see who it is we're starting three. early 
three. <laughs> you have hit Eddie. <laughs> oh, nice. and I roll damage, and it's half as much, right? C correct. That's two nat ones, boys and uh, girls. So, uh, Eddie, you take three points of damage. <sighs> Thank you, sir, man. Please have another. Wow. wow. Off to a good start. Uh, <laughs> since everybody has an orange monk, everybody also has a green monk. Uh, Eddie's theory is correct. Uh, these guys are like, ah, oh, that's right. Screw those orange bastards. Let's kill them. <laughs> uh, so uh, let's see here. I will go up. Uh, the green dice will be the green monks. Uh, so as I attack, they are also going to be attacked. So, Linda, you have somebody on you. Orange is to hit you. Yep. Green okay. is okay. to help you. Okay. Okay. Uh, 16 hit you. Yeah. And the green yeah. monk hit him back. So. Oh, oh yay. So it, it's no tit green for monk. tat there. Uh, each one of them takes, <laughs> uh, you take three hit points, and the orange monk takes three as well. Uh, David, nobody on you. The green monk stands up. Brother, I shall help you and stand <laughs> far with you. He is not going to help you attack Eddie's guy, but he is going to kind of protect your back, oh, and excellent. he will swing on a guy coming at you. 14 plus 1, he hits. David, you now have one on you. Okay. And he has five hit points of damage. All right, Eddie, good. same thing. They're doing the whole thing uh your green monk sucks not as bad as your orange monk who with your crippling attack uh rolls a one drops his weapon and lands also in a pile of chicken guts you will have advantage against him next round <laughs> that's, that's three nat ones if you're keeping track john same with you a green robe comes up to help you guys are the bash brothers double fours uh the orange guy Ooh. misses you, and the green guy misses him. We move on to Linda. Linda, this place is a mess, and you haven't even gotten to the gambling hall. I know. I know. Well, I am going to um, attack the orange monk with my quarterstaff, who has been attacking me. Yep. And I am going to miss, but not super badly, because I rolled a three. There you go. Mm -hmm. If you have a green monk with you, you're going to roll a D10 and cut it in half, because that means you might hit your friendly green monk, who might not be friendly after that. David, oh. uh, you now have a guy on you, fortunately, okay. for your green monk friend. He's mm -hmm. hurt. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to still try my Warhammer and hopefully do better this time. You know, sure. you need a couple practice swings. Yeah, um, you know, you got to get the right angle for it. Let's see. Well, mm, not that many practice swings. I definitely missed. So. <laughs> no, Eddie. I did not hit my friends this time, though. So we're oh, moving up. So that's a plus. Eddie, your guy is uh, on all fours, bleeding profusely, slipping around in chicken guts. Oh, I'm sorry. You've already gone. Top of the order, Eddie, what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. I'm just going to leave him there. Well, yeah, the green monk doesn't feel the same way. That's okay. That's okay. <laughs> uh, for some reason, another four. Uh, okay, the green monk says, okay, he's had enough. That's fine. John, you're up. <laughs> okay, this time I'm going to hit the orange monk. I'm actually going to hit him this time. Ah, okay. damn it. No, but at least I didn't roll a one. <laughs> you guys suck, man. <laughs> I know. This is terrible. Linda. It's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 13 plus 3 is a 16. Oh, and, oh, and it's me too. But your green monk nails him with a nat 20. Yay, green Woo! Monk. <laughs> uh, five hit points of damage to you, but your monk falls dead. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Wow. Uh, next up is David. Uh, 19 for the bad guy. Yep. Uh, 15 for the good guy. So the good guy does hit him. Mm -hmm. uh, bad guy hits you. Yep. Six hit points. Ooh. Boom. And your guy, dead. Uh, Eddie, I already rolled for you. 
Uh, your guy, eh, he, he didn't care. John? Uh, 11 plus 3, 14. Nope. Uh, six plus three is nine. So swing and a miss, swing and a miss. Linda, you are up. Your guy is dead, bleeding all over the chicken guts. It's hard to tell whose blood is which at this point in time. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, which one of my companions is closest to me and might need my help? Odd even. Odd would be Eddie. Twelve. John is the closest one to you. All right, I'll move over over to where he is and assist him fighting his monk. Thank you. Don't slip on the the guts anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I rolled a 10, so I've missed. Nope, right off the leather uh, armor. Uh, David, you are are also standing in a pool of blood. Okay. Uh, Well, I'd move to whichever orange monk I can and get him. Well, Body you know, attempt again? you, maybe. But. Four. Everybody's ganging up on John. Eddie, screw right. you. Nobody trusts the road. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean... Well, let's see how it works, though. I mean, I haven't been doing particularly hot. on. Ooh, well, I changed dice, and it worked much better. Uh, that's a 21 to hit yep. for uh, four damage. Ooh, stuns him nicely. Uh, new round. Uh... The green monks have an advantage now uh, because there's two dead uh, and only one green, one dead. Odd, the orange monks run in fear. Even, screw you, this fight ain't over. (laughs) Three, they all turn tail and run. Linda, David, John, you can get one last crack at this guy. Eddie, you can get one last crack at your guy, or you can say, screw it, they've learned their lesson. My guy is bleeding in a pile of chicken feet. I think he's learned his lesson. Fair enough. Uh, Linda, David, and John, you are on the same one. I'm go- I'm going to take a, a last swipe at him since I hadn't been able to hit him before. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not. Go ahead. I'm like, whatever. Yeah. So I'm John sure he learned his it? lesson from my Warhammer hitting him last round. So. Yeah. Okay. You can always kick him in the pants. Mm. <laughs> not not <laughs> damage. I'll, I'll let you know. I'll let John try to kill this one. No, I already missed. So. Oh, okay. Well. okay. Uh, the orange <laughs> robes are in full retreat. The green ones appear to be Irish hooligans after a football game. Mm-hmm. Uh, the path <laughs> to the gambling hall is now clear if you want to do it. All right. Well, we should well, uh, like, definitely get well, out I'm of here. I'm going to assess my injuries for a minute. For a minute. Mm-hmm. Sure. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you, know, make sure that you know, make sure that I can walk well with my little turned ankle and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm going to put my arm in a sling since I got the damage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, your well, fake arm so that you can pickpocket people. Well, I mean, how- <laughs> <laughs> Add to your deception bonus. So you, mm-hmm. should, you should play the road. You should play the road. <laughs> yeah. I, I almost never get to play anymore. It's mm-hmm. sad. Mm-hmm. I mean, how 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 did that ever because I could I could do some cure runes and such. Well, I, I'm I'm down well, three, but it's a three you gave me, so I figure you want me to have them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I'm down eight. Mm-hmm. So, I think Linda's the the worst. No. Yeah, they yeah. they yeah, they hit me through my mage armor with my AC of fifteen, yeah. and yeah. Mm-hmm. I I got smacked mm-hmm. good. Okay. Uh, well, I will come over to you and cast Cure Wounds. Uh, so you. you're going to get a you. D8. Uh, a D8 plus three. Uh, six. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. That's excellent. That's excellent. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, the rogue's got his arm in a sling. Linda's feeling a whole lot better. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you make your way over to the Queen of Hearts Gambling Hall? Yeah. Yeah, let's <laughs> move on, on, on over there now. The strong aroma of tobacco greets you at the door, and as you step over a pile of vomit, the door opens easily. A passed out figure just inside the door is clearly the previous owner of the vomit. 
and he still has uh, a cigar in his mouth that's mm. still lit. You can mm -hmm. see the chest rising and falling so that you know he's okay. Mm -hmm. The interior okay. is dimly lit okay. with a table of gamblers to one side and a bar on the other. A halfling comes walking over. Hello, hello, heroes of Dagger Tooth, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> he, he has got a this sized stogie and he's blowing smoke squares. You aren't sure how he does it. Uh, right. This halfling introduces himself as King's High James, owner, proprietor, chief gambler. Mm -hmm. Welcome aboard, heroes of Dagger Tooth. Uh, what can we do for you? <laughs> well, uh, we've heard things about uh, someone who may be uh, a regular here. Have you? Do you know anybody who is particularly uh, tall and handsome with piercing blue eyes? <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> D D twelve against me. Let's see. Oh, well, let's see. Oh, I rolled. I rolled a one. I rolled a one. Um, I can't really help you with that, friend, but <laughs> I'm not really sure about that. Uh, mm -hmm. But, you know, no judgment here at the Queen of Arts Gambling Hall to eat your own. You may I'll, be at the to, card. I'll be at the card. You, you, you may want to ask the gamblers over there. Maybe one of them might be to your liking. I don't mm -hmm. know. Uh, didn't we actually get this guy's name from the chambermaid? His name is Flint Ryder, or at least that's what maybe we you know, should Maybe things. we yeah. should call him by name rather than describing him as handsome. Well, you know, it's not as funny. So <laughs> That's true. I think, I think David's got one foot the barrel already. <laughs> <laughs> Choose your words carefully, holy man. <laughs> mm -hmm. This isn't the Catholic Church. We uh, don't have a Snickers bar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, so goodness. he suggests you go over and talk to the gamblers. Maybe they... Okay, let's do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. Henry One Eye, named for an eye patch with an eye painted on it. Mm. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know Flint Rider. What do you want? Someone else should do the talking. I have minus one to persuasion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, I'm supposed to be wise, but so far haven't done that. But I'm not <laughs> particularly charismatic either. So, Does anyone have a positive charisma? I have an eight. Um, an yes, um, yes, I do. Okay, I, have cool. positive, I have a positive <laughs> charisma. So let's go for this and see what happens. Sure. Um, so uh, we're looking for a Flint Rider because we're um, kind of intrigued by him. I haven't seen uh, very many humans because, by the way, I'm a half elf who are my height with those beautiful blue eyes and i'd like to talk to him a bit about his ancestry what you got to offer me there hun well well let's roll these dice let's roll these dice and if i come and higher, if i come up higher you give me the information if not if not i'll give you a silver piece i'll give you a silver piece i'll tell you what if you can beat me in five barrel, mm. I'll tell you what you need to know. Sure. Sure. That sounds great. <laughs> that sounds great. Roll a D20 five times and add the numbers. Okay. Ooh. Okay. All right, we get 18. All right, we get 18. Nine. Nine. Five. Five. Three. I have my total. And Fifty-four. Fifty-four. Very good. Uh, Perception, David, Eddie, and John. Mm -hmm. 
14. Eight. Also 14. Uh, John, while you ponder around and take in the ambiance of this uh, mm -hmm. establishment, mm -hmm. you are not paying attention to the gambling table. David and Eddie, however, realize uh, that Linda's total has far exceeded the gambler. Mm -hmm. and she has won. Mm -hmm. He groans a little bit and hem haws around. Mm -hmm. and says, uh, yeah, it's Flynn Ryder, uh, by the way. Uh -huh. uh, but he ain't here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, that guy does, what does he do? He's, uh, he's one of them artsy fartsy guys. Mm -hmm. Uh, you might want to find him over at the museum. Oh, okay, thank oh. you. Okay, thank you. Um, we had heard that he uh, was purporting himself as some sort of musician. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. Yeah. Have you ever seen him dance? <laughs> we heard it was uh, like a goat, which did not sound pleasant. <laughs> he, he dances like some kind of jackass with a stubbed toe. That's what right. he dances like. <laughs> well, your description is much more enjoyable and flavorful than a goat, I must yeah. say. Yeah. You have a way with yeah. words. Yeah. He suggests checking at the museum, which is behind the temple. So it is yeah. the uh, larger square right behind the temple area. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Um, um, I'm going to give him. I'm going two to give him pieces. two silver pieces <laughs> because I enjoyed the game. That was a quite enjoyable. That was a quite enjoyable game. I'd love to play with you again. Well, there, hero. You can play with me anytime. Are you guys paying attention to what you're saying at all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, Apparently not. Would it, David? <laughs> Uh, you will probably be welcome back with open arms, I'm thinking. Uh, Eddie, yeah, not so much. You haven't made that much of an impression. But uh, uh, one eye, Henry One Eye says uh, thanks. He he lifts his eye patch, and you notice that he has two functioning eyes. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> yeah, you, aren't, you aren't real sure what that's all about. But with the, with the covered eye, he gives you a nice little wink. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So apparently he can't wink with the good eye, but the one underneath the cover, mm -hmm. he can. Mm -hmm. uh, so right. yeah, he can come back anytime. Right. Thank you. Uh, off to the museum, or do you not trust him? Hmm. Well, we could either go to the museum, or we could. I trust uh, him. Okay, it's the museum then. Museum, it is. All right. Yeah, I mean, we can we can hit up um, the Loving Arms for open mic night first because i'm sure that's on the way since the museum is behind the temple okay uh do you want to do open mic night well i guess is it an appropriate time for such a thing or do yeah, we get what, pulled what, in in the early morning here or something? what uh what, what time is it uh it's uh, about 10 ish okay. at night or in the morning in the morning you guys Why don't we go breakfast. to the museum first? I don't. The tavern will probably wouldn't have open mic night until night. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, museum it Thank is. You. <laughs> As you guys can just cut in between those buildings because uh, mm -hmm. that's the fastest way. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, if you saw last night's game or played with me before. You know, I like throwing stuff at people. So as you cut in between no. the buildings, mm -hmm. everybody D12 against me. Not right. Not right. Four. Eleven. Nine. 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 Everybody says, look up. Mm -hmm. Who failed? I got a I four. Uh, David and John, uh, you have forgotten that look up is the indication that a chamber pot is about to be empty. Mm, yeah. Oh, yeah. David, John, give me DC 11 on dexterity to dodge the hopefully just urine, but we'll see. Nope. Ooh, got an 18. Uh, David, at the last moment, you're like, holy crap. <laughs> Throw yourself up against the wall. Mm -hmm. David, John, any die, odd is simply liquid, even is something a little bit more substantive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
just Hot. liquid for me. I got evens. <clears throat> Fortunately for David, uh, the solids missed you. Uh, Good. Unfortunately for John, <laughs> dexterity was not quite there, and he is now covered in liquid of a very uh, asparagus smell uh, about it. Uh, this is John definitely a Bobo Frank game. John, you will now suffer another negative one on any persuasion until you get. I, uh, yeah, don't let me do. Don't let me persuade. Mm -hmm. Will smelling uh, terrible uh, increase my chances at intimidation? We'll see. You can always light your beard on fire. You know, that seems to work. Uh, you guys break out into the open plaza. Uh, mm -hmm. it, there's an open market here. There's stuff going on. Uh, mm -hmm. But you know that the museum is behind the temple. And you also realize that uh, Smooka smells a little bit better than he normally does. That's a positive. Uh, you guys want to check out the wares in the open market, or you want to just beeline it to the museum? Well, I mean, I'm cruising for a tall, handsome man with blonde eyes. So. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be a big hit in the Merchant's Guild. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no, David, unfortunately. No tall, good-looking man with mm. blue eyes and a smile that lights up the room. Okay. Are pleasant. Mm. Uh, there, there is a goose salesman. Uh, brown eyes, short, dumpy, <laughs> but has a lot of geese. So. Well, I mean, if he's stumpy, maybe he's more dwarf-like, which might appeal to me. I don't know. <laughs> Sadly. Or, you know, so, yeah, there, there could be a lower center of gravity, so that, mm -hmm. that could be useful yeah. in something. Well, yeah. Unfortunately, I, I'm, I'm trying to, you know, help this princess out here or something to <laughs> win the favor of the king. So Fair <laughs> enough. Lady Luck was with you, and you have been given the gift of knowledge. Uh, after showing the professional gambler how it's done, Linda, uh, you have been sent to the yeah. museum telling you that your quarry Flynn Ryder is uh, doing uh, artsy fartsy work there. Uh, as you arrive several blocks over, uh, you find it. It has intricate uh, painted columns outside. Uh, behind the temple, it's not quite as grand as the temple, but it, it's still pretty impressive here. Uh, as you enter, uh, you meet with a young lady who requests payment. For entry, there's there's an entry. How 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 much how much is it to get in? Whoa 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 whoa! I know you. You you're like the heroes of Dagger Tooth, only smellier, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's us. Oh oh hi. Yes, ma'am, we are. Far be it from me to charge heroes. Uh, your entry fee is waived. Please oh. please. Enjoy and thank you very much for your service. We appreciate it. What a day. What so it's a like day. Veterans Day for you guys, and you guys are stolen valor types. Mm. <laughs> All right. uh, as you enter in, uh, you discover that the curator uh, in charge of this place is giving a special tour, and he's going to be busy for about an hour. Mm. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, but you're okay. you. You may feel free to uh, wander the museum and check out the exhibits if you want. Or well, why don't we just uh, look around and see if we can find Flynn? Mm -hmm. I'll, I'd also like to check the little like name yeah. placards if they exist to see if any of them are Flynn Rider. Sure. If he's an artist that's in the museum for some reason. Sure. Uh, everybody, roll thirteen or better on a d twenty mm -hmm. uh, straight up. Natural 20. I did not. 11. 11. I, got, I claimed the natural one today. That's this round. four. <laughs> uh, Eddie, David, and Linda, you are bored shitless. Mm -hmm. and the, the, this is like a sideshow. This is like mm -hmm. a crappy Ripley's Believe It or Not with mm -hmm. stupid mm -hmm. things. Or original brickwork. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this place... Just stay. there's <laughs> flint arrows because mm -hmm. the original native shot some kind of dumb deer, elk, mm -hmm. or blah blah blah. Mm -hmm. Now, the intellectual of your group, Smooka, mm -hmm. is thrilled uh, to this. I mean, he feels a whole lot brighter uh, mm -hmm. than anything. Uh, it, it well, takes... the... go ahead. 
I was just going to say, I'm an orc. I'm fascinated by ancient weaponry. Yeah, mm. sure, whatever. I think he's just helping me out of the rain. <laughs> yeah, and you're stinking up the joint. Uh, and, and no matter how hard you guys try, you cannot pull Spooka out of here because he is just thrilled. And he, you can tell in his eye that he's thinking, you know, maybe I should take some of this stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, but about that no, time, no. A, a, the curator comes around the corner and he's like, may I help you? <laughs> Uh, why, why, yes, actually, you may. We are here on urgent business from the, the king and uh, the princess herself. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sure it's very important. I am a very busy man as well. I am Miles McSnooty, curator of this establishment. Please get to the point. Well, we are looking for Flynn Ryder. We have yes. heard that he is known to frequent this establishment. Do you know where he, he may be? He is a substandard artist, but he has done some work for us. Uh, does he owe you money? Oh, uh, well. Can I roll insight to see, like, how he would feel about if I say yes or no? Yes, you may. All right. Uh, that is a, well, a nat 20 for a 25. He's hiding something. Okay. Hmm. Uh, well. We we mean to speak with him. Um, you know, it is. I assure you, it is nothing nefarious. I see. Uh, and while I respect men of the cloth or women, either or, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not exactly sure why I should tell you where he is. Uh, you are lacking sufficient motivation. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Okay. Hmm. Well. Uh, that is a 16. A 16? Mm -hmm. Well, he is in one of two places, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. Being a local artist, uh, he may be handcrafting items at the Artistic Desires shop. Uh, that is over at... Uh, what the hell is that? I screwed something up on the map. Uh, it is over to the far right and the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, or, okay. or he may be uh, around the temple and in the uh, little oblong section there. Mm -hmm. uh, in the middle, uh, he might be at the Buttery Buns Bakery. Uh, it's about the time he usually gets a snack, or at least that's what he says, uh, because as you can tell, uh, he's falling behind on the ceiling paint. John, of course, has noticed this because Smook has just taken this in. You three are just, oh my God, I hate this, John. Uh, so you can either go to Buttery Buns Bakery or Artistic Desires. Mm -hmm. I say we hit the bakery. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, sorry. yeah, I'm sorry. That is correct. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, why don't we hit the uh, bakery if this is about the time he goes for lunch? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, shortest route Buttery possible. Buns bakery answer. sounds great to me. Yes. <laughs> shortest route. Uh, you go around to the left of the temple through that narrow channel. Mm -hmm. Look up! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> Everybody give me a dexterity check. All right. Okay. Hey. 15. Fifteen. Six. Seven. Seven. <laughs> uh, Eddie, <laughs> David, and John. Mm -hmm. Down it rains. Mm -hmm. Odd liquid, even solid. Mm. Four. Four. Even solid. I got odds. Two, solid. John and Eddie, solid. David, a little bit of urine on you. Mm, uh, go ahead and roll percentage to see how much fell okay. on you this time. Oh, right. oh. that's a good mean. <laughs> 34. Mm. 91. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
I, I, I rolled 90, so, you know, I'm a little better. But just like make a little a little like, thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Linda, yeah. congratulations on being the cleanest individual. While uh, David and Eddie suffer minus one to persuasion rolls, uh -huh. John will now be at minus oh, wow. two. I ought to make it minus twenty for your rolls. <laughs> uh, Is there anywhere in town that we wow. can get clean? Uh, actually, as you arrive at uh, Buttery Buns Bakery, across the way is a homeless shelter where they might allow you to at least rinse off. I'm going over there. You guys, you guys go to the bakery. I'm getting cleaned <laughs> up. <laughs> David, do you want to go oh, off or go with Linda into the bakery? I mean, if they'll let me in the bakery. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we go there. They're gonna force me to leave. Then I guess I'll go hose myself off. Sure. Uh, as you two wander in, you arrive across town uh, by following your nose, mm -hmm. Linda. You follow your nose, and you lead yeah. this troop of miscreants along. Uh, <laughs> and you find a large woman present rolling out some dough in the front section of the building. At first glance. She seems to have an unpleasant attitude. Eddie and John, uh, one of you D12 against me. Let's see if they'll let you in. I'll do it. The homeless it. shelter? Yep. Beat an eight, Eddie. Okay. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> it's a one. Well, that's all at 12, so that doesn't count. Uh, John and Eddie, you were directed into the back alley where they will throw water on you. <laughs> David and Linda. Uh, I guess that's a step up somehow. Yeah. Step up at somehow. least you're getting washed. Uh, David and Linda, the unpleasant woman, uh, just she looks like uh, uh, the old lady from the Goonies, Mama Fertelli. She just looks mm. angry. Uh, okay. What do you want to do? So we look around and we definitely don't see um, our uh, Flynn Rider person, right? Nope. And you don't see very many bakery goods either. Mm. <laughs> well. Um, when is, uh, um, when is uh, your next load of bread going to be ready? <sighs> Soon. Soon. I'm fresh out, right, as you can plainly well, tell. Why do you ask? Well, oh, yes. Well, because they, they smell so good when I was walking around that I was intrigued and I thought I would buy some. But I see that you're out, so I'll come back later. Okay. David, do you want to say anything? Uh, hmm. All right. I'm just getting... You know, do you well we were actually hoping also in addition to bread to perhaps finding our friend flynn did he come in today flynn Ryder? yes you mean man custard man custard <laughs> man. i mean he is uh he, oh, is quite he has the man. tastiest buns in this store <laughs> <laughs> what, do you, what do you want with what do you want with Flynn? Oh, we're just, you know, we're just hoping to catch up, but, uh, you know, we heard he comes in here about this time, but apparently not today. Well, he was it. If he was in here, uh, there'd be more drool in the custard, if you know what I mean. Mm, all right. <laughs> Anything else I can do for you? Hmm. Not at the moment, but uh, definitely looking forward to coming back for some of your buns. <laughs> nice. uh, twelve against me. Let's see if she notices that fresh urine smell on you. Mm. <laughs> twelve. No, absolutely not. I got a four. As she gets closer to you, because she wants to examine the merchandise. Uh, ugh, get out of my store! <laughs> I'll shower before I return. I promise. Yeah, please do so. <laughs> I need that man custard back here. Uh, over in the alley of the homeless shelter, Eddie and John, roll a D10. That's how many minutes it's going to take for them to hose you off. Six uh, minutes. 
One. I just got that. That's cool. Uh, Eddie, are you going to wait till John's done? Well, that would be polite. Thank you. I appreciate it. That wasn't the answer, though. Yes, I'll (laughs) wait. Linda and David, uh, you know that your associates went across the street to go get hosed off, uh, (laughs) and you now are looking for Flynn Man Custard Ryder. Well, we've, why, we've don't had we the, <laughs> why don't we try the artisan section now? Bah, 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 bah. You're still getting hosed off there, Mr. Queen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David and Linda, do you want to try uh, the artist's nook or uh, go get David cleaned off so that he can be man shake or something? <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean... I'm not, well, it sounds like even with my plus zero, I'm one of the more persuasive people, so it might be good to get hosed off, but I don't know how long it's going to take. I mean, D12 against me. All right, well, let's see. Two. I also got a two. Reroll. It's escape. It's escape. Twelve. Oh, well, my seven. I was feeling good about my seven, and you just had to rub it in. Back alley there, Padre. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Uh, Linda, are you going to go with him or just hang out in the front? I am going to hang out in the front. I am going to hang out in the front, and I'm going to look around and um, try to listen to chatter and see if anybody is um, talking about Flynn, you know, because I'm sure that he... uh, leaves chatter in his wake as he walks by it would seem so i mean he's smitten david apparently yeah. according to the gambler <laughs> david as you uh wander around the back alley mm-hmm. you are greeted with the sight of smooka the half orc mm-hmm. fighter dancing around like mm-hmm. uh where am i here mm-hmm. while getting doused with water mm-hmm. <laughs> Naked. Oh, very nice. I don't know, is, is Smuka is Smuka a shower singer or? Uh, I don't know, Smuka. Are you a shower singer? Yes, I'm. I'm singing an orcish ballad. Give me a performance role. You got it. <laughs> oh, I'm at minus one. Cool. A uh, four. Uh, much to your chagrin, nice. David and Eddie. Mm-hmm. Pour some sugar on me sounds really bad in Orkish. Okay. <laughs> uh, and David, give me a D10 to let's see to see how long it's gonna take your vestments to get clean. Uh, ten. Oh boy, you really got. Soaked. I got I got real soaked, and there's a lot of vestments. Okay, so you guys will be down for ten minutes, and hopefully, uh, Smooka will shut up. Linda, D12 against me. Okay. Okay. Four. Ten. Ten. Uh, Yes, you hear a pair of ladies, and you hear the words, Flynn. All right. uh, All right. um, Try to listen in on their conversation. conversation. Uh, Stealthily or obviously? Stealthily. Stealthily. Uh, give me your stealth roll. Okay. Okay. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, close enough. Uh, the conversation between the two ladies, uh, one of them is clearly an upper echelon individual, and the other one is her friend. Uh, from your uh, sensitive hearing, since you're half elf, you gather that the uh, expensive lady is Lady Du Mint. Candy do mint, and her friend's <laughs> name is Pickles. Apparently, Lady do mint was robbed but was saved by the dashing Flynn Rider, uh, who was on his way to the music oh. store, Ray's Music Exchange. Okay, okay, and they continue to walk by you. Okay. D12 against okay. me again to see if you find out anything else. 12. 10. 
10. That's about, that's about the only interesting thing. You understand that the pork prices are going up and somebody ate a whole lot of some kind of biscuit called the man custard biscuit. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of those cinnamon <laughs> twists. Uh, mm, it's a yeah. specialty of the baker. You, you aren't really sure what the particulars are. After about 10 minutes, uh, David uh, still soaking wet. Yep. John with his half-orc hair in various states. And Eddie, who only needed a spritzing, uh, emerge <laughs> clean. All of your negatives for persuasion have been removed. Right. Uh, so these three gentlemen have come from the alley, and you have been standing out front. So what do you guys want to do? Oh, gentlemen. Oh, gentlemen. Uh, while you were taking care of your hygiene situation, I um, listened in and discovered that it's most likely that our quarry Flynn Rider uh, is at a Ray's Music Exchange, or at least has recently headed headed that direction. Uh, uh -huh. Perhaps we should go there first. That's fine with me. And do we... Okay. The good news is Ray's Music Exchange is just north of your position, uh, right about here. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. I, I say we take the main road. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Let's try not I to get that more. Is a, a good idea. You no you more cowards. chamber pods. <laughs> you cowards. <laughs> <laughs> I, I cannot believe you don't have the guts to take shortcuts. Unless anymore. we can, like, get umbrellas at the merchant's room. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they do not sell umbrellas here at Hartwood. Uh, <laughs> someone see. used their shield last night uh, <laughs> uh, you, you move quickly and arrive a short time later in front of Ray's Music Exchange uh -huh. screaming can be heard from inside uh -huh. oh, lovely. I, I like rush in oh, lovely. Screaming or the Beatles are here screaming <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not Smooka's uh, Townhouse band screaming. Smooka runs in. Uh, mm -hmm. The others, uh, there's a window there if you want to look in to see what's going on as Smooka hauls ass inside. I mean, I'll follow Smooka yeah. inside. Okay. I'm going to look in the window before I go in. Linda, I'm going to look in the window, window before I go in. Eddie? Window, window please. Uh, Eddie and Linda look into the window. Uh, David and John heroically, uh -huh. heroically uh, charge in. Uh, everybody sees the same thing, but John and David are inside. Uh -huh. Uh, there is an attractive man holding uh -huh. a large loot over his head. Uh -huh. And as you charge into the business, uh, that's what you see. Uh, you also see what looks to be a proprietor right next to him. Uh, the screaming is done by the guy holding the loot over his head. What would you like to do? Or John and David, roll initiative, please. Three. Uh, 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 Seventeen. Seventeen. The priest gets first action. As Smooka charges in, you come in behind him. You see the man with the loot over his head screaming, and you see a proprietor type right next to him. What would you like to do? So what's the proprietor doing? They're just standing next to him? He's doing the finger wag. Okay, and presumably <laughs> Flynn is screaming. Presumably. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. He is uh, I'm going to... Like a cat. Okay, I'm going to cast command and try to tell Flynn to stop. Ooh, 15. Oh, that that one gets louder. Yeah, that's, that, that saves. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Well, I tried. He is just threshing this loot, baby. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Linda and Eddie, you're looking in. Uh, you don't know what to make of this situation. Uh, John, uh, you heard David use command on him. Uh, it did not work. What would you like to do? I'll use intimidation on him and tell him to stop. Go ahead and intimidate, and I'm going to counter roll you. Eight. Oh, I got a ten. Uh, ah, 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 
<laughs> and the proprietor's just shaking his head, yelling, "Stop!" Uh, this mm-hmm. this guy's shredding it, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Eddie and Linda, what do you want to do outside, or just <laughs> stay outside? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh wow! Um. I am going to go in and attempt to grapple him. I'm going to try to <laughs> grab his arm, bring them down. I think that's the most amusing thing. I think that's the most amusing thing. Um, I think do. you all got it all wrong. Um, I, mm-hmm. I'm, I would like to go in and grab a random instrument and harmonize. Mm. <laughs> uh, Eddie, I do not play an instrument. <laughs> give me your uh, initiative roll. 18. And mine's 12. And mine's 12. Okay, Eddie. Round two. Uh, dude is just thrashing uh, the axe, if you will. Uh, uh, what what instrument would you like to grab? Uh, there are a variety of them in here. because it's I'm sure I'm equally bad at all of them. Um, whatever looks the loudest. Uh, you know what? You're going on the keyboard. Uh, okay. There's a big old keyboard there. Give me a performance roll. Oh, you got it. <laughs> With advantage, right? Um, <laughs> oh, 19 plus 1 is 20. Uh, Eddie's musical career is about to take off because yeah. uh, he listens, <laughs> he gets the tune down, and he starts banging the keys away. Mm-hmm. Uh, Slash is just all over. <laughs> 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 And that brings us back to the 17, David. Uh, now you got two jackasses. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just gonna give in and look for a drum set and start like hitting the sure. snare or something. Right over in the corner. Go ahead and uh, do right. the percussion. All right. Give me a per- or performance roll. All right. Well, I'm real bad at it. In fact, I got a two. No, oh, very good. You can play uh, with just one arm. Oh, yeah. Too soon. Um, I'm. I definitely don't have any rhythm. I am not anywhere near close to whatever's happening out there. Uh, dude on loot kind of turns around behind you, but he's still just shredding away on it. Mm-hmm. Uh, that brings us to 12. Mm-hmm. Linda, uh, now you have three right. artists so, here. <laughs> what do you want to okay. do, Yoko? <laughs> he's got his loot up like this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to try to bring his hands down so he brings it down this way. Okay, give me a strength versus strength check. <laughs> All right. 11. 16. Oh, nice. 16. Okay. Uh, D12 against me. All right. 10. All right. One. Uh, One. You bring it down undeterred. What? <laughs> He's now playing it like that. Uh, <laughs> the proprietor is right. his hands just that over his head. And sits down. Uh, Smooka. With the three, uh, do you want to be the fourth beetle, or what do you want yes. to do? Yes. <laughs> if you can't beat him, join him. Sure. I'll, 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 I'll be the vocalist. Do you want me to make a performance roll? Oh, I, I most assuredly want a performance roll on this one. <laughs> four minus one is three. Oh. Mm. It's like a cat caught in a dryer. Oh, beautiful. Uh, <laughs> dude on loot. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> and he just stops playing. Okay. Uh, David, Eddie, and John, do you also stop playing? Yes. Yeah. I presumably I stopped playing uh but you know later than everybody else because I don't know what the hell's going on and I'm just you know arrhythmically hitting this drum. <laughs> You're beating it like a cat. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eddie, are you gonna stop? Yeah, with a with a you know yeah. a nice coordinated crash or whatever at the end. Mm-hmm. Straight down. <laughs> The proprietor stands back up and he goes, are you going to buy it? And the guy goes, nah. 
<laughs> he starts heading for the door. Okay. Oh, He's leaving. Oh, I'm going to high five him. Yeah. We got to do open mic, man. Yeah. Sure, we can. It's, there's one over at the end. We we could we could bring back the band. Get the band back. Back. <laughs> what are your names? I'm Smooka. Smooka, nice. Call me Shakes. Shakes, yeah. I like that. That, that fits. Really? I'm Kobe. Kobe, you're gonna break up the band. Yeah. Already. Uh, <laughs> yeah no. What about I, you, Pop? I'm going to be the band manager. <laughs> well, uh, Kelly introduces themselves, uh, but is certainly not Ringo Starr because they can't play the drums. But we'll try. Cool. My name's Mickey. <laughs> Mickey. Yeah, Mickey Dolans. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which I got to get back because I'm building a wall on the other side of town. Mm -hmm. But you know, got got to bring the axe to life. So, uh -huh. Yeah, maybe I see you at the end later. Yeah. And he leaves. Uh -huh. You guys have just had a jam session with a construction guy. Good job. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It's uh, like the village, yeah. the village people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Smooka can be the Indian. I, I don't. I'm going to assume David's going to be wearing the tight pants and the uniform. <laughs> uh -huh. I mean, I got a, I got a, I got a uh, baby powder my legs to get them on and yeah. all that. So. Mm -hmm. Have your friends hold it as you jump into it. Yeah, so, exactly. Sure. Watch the zipper. Watch uh -huh. that zipper. Uh -huh. So you seem to have wasted your time here. At Ray's Music Exchange. Ray stops you and says. Are you just going to buy any of these things? <laughs> How much do the drums cost? I'm a vocalist. I don't have to buy anything. You How keep much... telling yourself that. The, the drums, I'll I didn't know the instruments, so... I, I'll, I'll sell you the drums for five gold. All right, I will pay for the drums that I most assuredly ruined by hitting them. But... Nice. Uh, Ray gives you the tip. Uh, you use your hands. Stop hitting oh. those sticks. Those okay. sticks are something else. Okay. I call these bongos. Mm, yeah, that was my the mistake. Hell out of the high. <laughs> uh, Eddie, you gonna buy the, the uh, keyboard? Where am I gonna buy the keyboard? Am I gonna buy the There's a little out of tune. There's nothing wrong with that piano, and he sits down and he just starts wailing away like he's. Uh, oh God, what was it? Who was the killer? Oh, Jerry um, Lee Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis. He, he's just ripping it in half. There's mm. nothing wrong with that tune. But of course, <laughs> unless you guys want to push around a player piano. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you know, it, it, it's past noon. You guys have had a jam session. Uh, got to figure out that you're searching for man custard. And had <laughs> shit and urine thrown on you. So all in all, uh, the heroes of Dagger Tooth are really impressing the crap out of me. So, uh, yeah. oh, yeah. well, well, there They're were amazing. two. Yes, there yeah. were two. There were two taverns mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, one was the one uh, with the jam session, and the other was the one where the uh, maid met uh, mm -hmm. Flynn. Mm -hmm. yeah. The Cherub's was... Tavern and the Loving Arms. Yeah. 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 Well, and then we also didn't go to the Artistic art, the, the art store or something. Whichever one was down on the right. right. Yep. right. Why, why don't we go right. there next? Right. Okay. Uh, you guys are okay. closest to, right next to the homeless shelter, mm -hmm. is the uh, Cherub Tavern. Okay. Uh, and the other one. Okay. Uh, you passed by going mm -hmm. uh, to the monk fight. <laughs> so now both of them are up here and the artistic place is down mm -hmm. here. Now there's a couple of alleys you can take. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <it. laughs> I mean, hard, hard pass on shortcuts through alleys. That's S-H-O-R-T. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay. Uh -huh. uh, so you want to go to Cherubs, Loving Arms, or the Artistic Design Place? I think it's probably still too early to go to the tavern. Yeah, let's go to the Artistic Place. Artistic, so. Yeah. You guys. Yeah, uh, I agree. Okay, you guys cross town. Once again, you find yourself in the plaza. Uh, the plaza is actually where Mickey is building the wall. Uh, yeah. it, it's not a wall in any sense that you were probably thinking. It's a wall around a future site for a monument to the yeah. temple. So he's doing God's work, and it's yeah. important. Uh, he looks at um, one, Linda, as you pass by, and he goes, <laughs> Noting that you are indeed the band manager. I bring my hands down. Uh, what, do, what do I do with my hands? Just keep them down, Ricky Bobby. Keep them down. They should be down this way when you play. Uh, everybody, give me a perception check as you pass through the plaza. Ooh. Ooh. Eight. Thirteen. Ten. Also ten. ten. Wow. Smooka is the only one that isn't deaf from the music. And you hear a shriek across the plaza in that row of buildings there. Uh, that little circle in the middle, that's uh -huh. the statue where the wall is at. Uh -huh. So it's on that line of buildings that you are at. You hear a shriek. I uh, run toward the shriek. <laughs> uh, with the other roles, David, Linda, Eddie... Eddie and David, you're watching, Wah! and Linda waving at him. Linda, you're waving at him. Uh, you guys look around, and there is no speaker to be seen. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. okay. One more person to find today. <laughs> yep. Right. Give me perception rolls, you three. John has already heard it. Ooh. 16. 13. 12. The unmistakable war cry, the guttural war cry from a half orc associate of yours causes your vision to focus to the left, and you see Smooka's ass running into a building. It is a tailor shop. Uh, Smooka, as you okay. pour into this building, you notice an enormous individual threatening to rip the head off of the proprietor. What would you like to do first? I demand to know uh, from the large individual why he is manhandling the proprietor. Would that be intimidation? Well, he doesn't have hands on him, but yeah, if you want to try and intimidate him, the guy that's almost... Natural 20. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> and he stops yelling at the proprietor, turns around and looks at you, and he goes, boom, GTFO, pal, <laughs> and pokes you in the chest. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will take initiative from all of you, but right now, Smooka is the only one inside the building. Uh, initiative of 19. 14. 14? 16. 16 for me. Eight. 16 for me. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Uh, Smooka, you, you just got chest poked by this uh -oh. guy. I punch him uh -oh. in the face. Sure, go ahead. Now, uh, would that be... Um, let me see, do I, do I have strike. a plus... Okay, uh, uh, do I get a plus five with my unarmored strike or not? Yep. Okay. Eleven. Uh, 11 is exactly what you need. You hit the guy right in the stone jaw. How much damage do you do? 1d4 plus strength bonus. <clears throat> Six points. It's going to be a long night for Smooth. Uh, let's see. Linda, you are the first one to arrive as you get to the doorway. David, you are looking over her shoulder. Eddie... It's taken in the sights. Wait, how tall He's is how how tall is Linda actually? Because I'm a dwarf. I don't know if I'm I'm peaking. Oh, I'm five foot nine. Oh, I'm five foot nine. I'm okay, pretty so tall. I'm, yeah, so I'm peeking around, peeking around your hips, maybe. 
see, you see Smooka going yeah. nose to chin on this dude, and you see the dude just drop one right on Smooka's head. Mm -hmm. uh, does a 16 hit you? No, it does not. Uh, swing and a miss. New round, uh, 19 is Smooka. You are up first. Punching him again. Huh? 10, 15 to hit. That hits. D4 plus 3, another 4 points of damage. Okay. Uh, 16, Linda. Uh, got a fist fight going on here. Um, I'm going to... Stay out of their way. Um, I'm going to stay out of their way. Because uh, they're both big and burly, and I don't want to get squished. Sure. David, uh, uh, your associate is uh, this Go ahead, Linda. I'm going to go over where the proprietor was. I'm going to go over where the proprietor was and, uh, see, if and uh, see if I can talk to him while they're fighting. Sure. David, what do you want to do? Okay, so the, this person that is being fought is clearly not uh, the person we're looking for, right? They're not six he is, foot with piercing. but ugly. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Very good then. Um, yeah, he's, he's uglier than Smooka was covered mm -hmm. in urine. <laughs> All right then. <laughs> well, um, I don't know if I want to jump in there and start punching at him, but I am going to cast, I mean, sure, why not? I'm going to cast Bane on this guy. And so he needs to make a charisma saving throw of DC not 13. Even, not even close. All right. So <laughs> That's a he five is minus going, two. <laughs> very good. All right. So whenever uh, whenever they make an attack or saving throw uh, for the next minute while I maintain concentration, they subtract a D4 from their attack rolls or saving throws. Yep. Got it. Eddie. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> this week there's going to be so much running here. Uh, Smooka <laughs> is duking it out. Uh, David is casting his clerical magic, and uh, Linda's going around the uh, probably trying to rip off the till or something. <laughs> uh, you know, you're, you're a little bit late to the, the ball here. What do you want to do? Well, you know, ink and parchment costs well, a lot of money. That's true. Um, so there's a big guy like, um, so it's like, like oversized. Why is he in a tailor shop? I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> Neither does anybody else, but you know what? That didn't stop Smooka from punching this guy. Yep. Smooka, why are you fighting? Smooka, why are you fighting? This guy was intimidating this poor tailor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Top of the order, he still doesn't like Smooka punching him, so he's going to try and haymaker him. With a two! Uh -huh. uh, Smooka ducks just as that haymaker uh, misses wildly. Top of the order, round three. Smooka, man, that would hurt a lot. Yep, you hit him. Six more points. Doesn't seem to be facing this guy at all. <laughs> uh, Linda, you round the corner. Uh, the terrified business owner's right there. She glances at you, glances at the till, glances at you. Not sure if you're a robber or what. what do you want to do? Um, um, what's going on? Why was he yelling at you? And can we just get out the back and let them fight? <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Linda, you have a message. You do not get to share it until the next round. Uh, I believe it has the answers to the questions that okay. you seek. Uh, David with a 14. Uh -huh. uh, you're still maintaining concentration. Yep. Uh, clearly the Bane worked the last time, so mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Well, I'm not particularly excited by the idea of running into melee and punching this giant creature, uh, but I also don't want to escalate the fight past fist fighting, so um, I don't know. I mean, can I go up next? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to go up and I'm just going to 
I'm going to see if I can just help, uh, like try to, I don't know, get in there, distract him enough to help uh, our half orc, you know, maybe give him advantage on his attack roll. Give me survival check, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I failed it. That's fine. Okay. David begins to go, hey, hey, dude. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, over here, dude. Mm -hmm. Hey, over here. Eddie. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I got to work out more. Uh, yeah. what, what do you want to do? Uh, well, you know, we're in tailor shop. Uh, well, you know, we're in tailor shop. <laughs> no, I'm not going to browse. Not a um, <laughs> Guys, time out. Time out. I'm just going to call for a time out. Uh, Smooka, do you want to take a time out? No. Fair enough. <laughs> I was going to get you the advantage. I'm like, that's not. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's a 19 without the pluses. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, he crushes you with his ham sized fist. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is that going to be? Uh, seven plus four. <laughs> 11 hit points of damage Ooh. as he connects. Ouch. How many hit points is that on you? Uh, I had 28. I'm down to 17. You're missing a tooth. <laughs> okay. He knocks the tooth uh -huh. right out of your head. Uh -huh. Smooka, fuck this guy. <laughs> he just hit you. Round four. What do you want to do? Okay, I'm, I'm, do I'm done fist fighting. I'm going to hit him with my sword this time. Sure. Okay. Might as well. Oh. 14. <laughs> 14 hits. Did you get it, Linda? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. Okay, go ahead. How much damage? <laughs> Five points this time. Nice. He takes notice of that, uh, mm -hmm. and he is not the least bit happy. Mm -hmm. Linda, your turn. I go. I go. You what? You ruined his puffy shirt? Did you offer him a refund or anything? <laughs> I think you need to get the pill and get out of here. Mm -hmm. Perception check. So I'm going to try to convince her to leave. Okay. David, Eddie, John, perception at disadvantage. Ooh. Oh that one. Uh, 16. Five. <laughs> that was our 15. Uh, David, you were too busy mm -hmm. concentrating. Oh, uh, yeah, and concentrating and cavorting around foolishly, right. yes. And it is your turn. Yeah. All right. Well, now that we've drawn weapons, I suppose I'm no longer escalating it when I call upon my god to make uh, to cast sacred flame upon him. Sure. So he needs to make a dex save of 13. Oh. Nope. All right. Ooh, max damage. It takes eight as my radiant energy bursts from him. Fair enough. Uh, Eddie, anything you want to enlighten everybody about? <laughs> <laughs> so what, did, what did I notice with my 15? Uh, you heard Linda quiz the proprietor. Apparently the proprietor screwed up this guy's puffy shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for crying out loud, don't kill this guy because they ruined his clothes. They ruined his clothes. He didn't do anything wrong. Do you shout this out? I am shouting this out, and I'm going to walk over the till and I'm going to get him his money back. Uh, David, perception normal. John, perception normal. Okay. I mean, obviously with a handling fee. Not, uh, not with a mate. I got an 11. Uh, David, uh... Ruined his shirt. <laughs> <laughs> are, are puffy shirts even in fashion right now? I don't know. Maybe he's a pirate. <laughs> well, they are if you're a troll. Uh, John Maybe has lost like a pirate day. Yeah, John's yeah, lost a tooth and he's pissed and it's yeah. his turn. Mm -hmm. What do you want to do, John? Okay. <laughs> Hit him with a long sword again. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I think I missed this time. I only rolled a 10. You missed. Uh... <laughs> Oh, he is going to kick your ass now. Uh -huh. uh, 16, Linda, give me a persuasion check for her to grab the till before Eddie steals it. 
<laughs> stealing it. Thirteen. Thirteen. She grabs the till and out yep. the back door she goes. Mm -hmm. uh, David, mm -hmm. Rude is picking okay. shirt. No. <laughs> 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 well, ruined his puffy shirt, but he is still beating on my friend, so I'm just gonna keep trying. Uh, uh, I guess it pains me to do this, but I'm going to try to use my last first level spell to cast command and tell this creature to stop. Uh, is it wisdom? It is wisdom, but he has a minus d4 from my bane. Well, I rolled a 10, minus 2, minus 1, so okay. 7, I fail. All right, so I have commanded him to stop. <clears throat> you command him just as he grabs his morning star, and he uh -huh. is going to Hank Aaron Smooka's head out of here. Uh -huh. uh, Smooka, you see this. Oh. Eddie, you see this, but you hear David using his command presence. Stop. Well, if he's if he's gonna stop, no, 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 I'll no, no, no. not your turn. Sorry. All right, you two stop. You heal right. him. You take stop. your money. You heal him. You take your and money. Somebody apologize for crying out loud. Somebody Everybody apologize. sees the large guy. <laughs> oh, and that that giant club. Comes mm -hmm. right up to Smooka's <laughs> face, <laughs> and he stops. Mm -hmm. But he's. <sighs> John, it only lasts you... one round, so we better figure something out. <laughs> John, yes. you can pretty much figure yeah. out that you were about to go over the left field fence. <laughs> right. Uh, but he is stopped for the moment. Mm -hmm. uh, top of the order. John, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to put my sword in my sheath and leave. Okay. <laughs> uh, Linda? I'm going like, to I'm gonna, like, sneak out the back okay. where, the where the proprietor went and then come around to the front. Oh! Through the alley. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> David, what do you want to do? Good, I have a good deck, so I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. All right. Do I have some idea how much a puffy shirt might cost? Uh, for this guy? Yeah, for this go guy. To the tent factory for this guy. Yeah. Probably cost five gold. Five gold. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm He's sitting on seven, estate. so I will just go. Well, I'll you know go up next to him. He's next to the counter, presumably. I'll put the seven gold there and say. Sorry about your shirt. I'm sorry about all this. Hopefully the seven gold here will cover your costs and any medical bills you may have <clears> and then attempt to walk out as far as I can away from it. Eddie. Was I able to get some of the, the money was before she ran out of the D12 against me. 11. Seven. You got a smack on the hand as the proprietor grabbed the money box. All right, I won't. I won't pass that along. All right. I'm, I'm <coughs> okay. Are you leaving or staying? I'm leaving. Pissed. I'm leaving. Pissed. Uh, you know what, Linda? You run out the back door. You yep. decide I'm going to go around to the front. Yep. Give me that deck save. All right. All right. You it. <laughs> okay. how, how much urine and excrement is this town producing? This is absurd. All of it. the Taylor area, so you know they're going to collect the urine. So is this the thing that, that half elves are just so used to dodging excrement and urine that dodging excrement and urine? Second it's like the Matrix. <laughs> we we put the whole course in it. And Eddie is the last one out. <laughs> And just as the spell breaks, <laughs> uh, the guy swings at midair. Does he hear David's request? Yes. With a 17, he looks over at the pile of gold coins, looks at his carved up belly, uh, and you can hear him yelling as you three come out the front door. Linda skipping along merrily around the alley. Uh, <laughs> 
There you go. Uh, you don't know if this guy's going to follow you out or not. I well, mean, uh, Smokey we did should, stab him twice. We should, we should double time it to that artistic <laughs> yes. place. Yes. Yes, I think we need to. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I think we need to um, move quickly. Mm -hmm. Let me mm -hmm. pull up the artistic place. Oh, can I use second wind? Sure. Are you so going that's... to fart second wind or recover? No, no, no. I meant regain one D10 <laughs> plus three hit points. Sure. Oh, okay. You guys got this one. Uh, with the day waning, the afternoon is uh, starting to peck away. You arrive at Artistic Desires and enter the establishment. Going in, you find the owner dealing with a large customer. Uh, she advises that she is currently closed and you need to leave. A body is on the floor. Everybody in sight. Oh. Oh. This is 17. Not Nine. Eight. Nine, six, seventeen. Linda, what was yours? Eight. 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 I'm just trying to make everybody else look better. Yes, I rolled really low, and I've got a good bonus. Okay, Smooka understands something. Uh, David and Linda, you are captivated by this man's smile. It's mm. like it lights up the room. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eddie, Excellent. See, seeing a body on the ground with its coin purse exposed, thinks. Mm. Eh. <laughs> uh, John, <laughs> you realize that, hey, this guy is good looking. I bet it's uh, Man Custard himself. Uh, and you see a little bit of blood on Man Custard's knuckles. Mm. Uh, everybody roll initiative to see what, who goes in what order. Uh, 17. <laughs> 13. Three. Three. I got a seven. Okay. Uh, the owner operator of this At least this is a good time to roll in that one. <laughs> That's true. Uh, the owner has told you to leave. Smooka, you are first. What would you like to do? I go, Flynn, what's happened here? Okay, fair enough. 13, Eddie, what would you like to do? He's not going to need that money. <laughs> <laughs> okay. mm. So you look for his ID, I take mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. I, I check for vital signs. <laughs> In, in his coin purse. Well, that's where I keep mine. Yeah. Uh, you find 15 heartbeats a minute. <laughs> David, what would you like to do? Mm, so I just see this, you know, six foot tall man with a smile that lights up a room and piercing blue eyes standing He's there. Gorgeous, man. Mm. He's even wearing a blue shirt. Mm. <laughs> he didn't change his shirt. Yeah. Blues his color. It brings right. out his eyes. I mean, it, it looks good on him. I mean, it yeah. really compliments the eyes. So, um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to double up on, you know, calling him Flynn and saying we need to talk to him. Okay. And finally, Linda. Yo, Flynn. Buddy. Yo, Flynn. Buddy, we've been looking for you. How's it um, hanging? <laughs> hanging low and slow, my dear. He looks at you three and says, uh, weirdest thing, I came into work and this guy's hassling the owner, so I had to give him the old one-two, if you know what I mean. Uh, do I know you guys at all? I actually rolled a one on initiative. <laughs> I <only took> one. <laughs> So back to Oh, Smuka. I rolled one also, but no, Dex. Well, that's six. <laughs> uh, Smooka, you got the 17. Flynn has offered an explanation. The lady has not confirmed or denied it. She has told you guys to leave. What do you want to do, Smooka? I'm going to ask the woman if that's what happened. 
Fair. 13, Eddie. Oh, this, this guy doesn't man, matter. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we, uh, your dance partner from last night wants to have another go. Good answer. Seven, David. Yeah, we're... I just echo the the dance partner thing, honestly. I'm not sure if there's anything else I want to do in that. So Fair enough. Uh, three, Linda. Um, I'm just going to stay, um, going to stay silent. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. Uh, you'd think Smooka would learn to do that once in a while, but no. Yeah. Uh, Smooka, <laughs> the owner-operator, confirms, yes, this is my best pupil. He saved me from being robbed. What are you, stupid? <laughs> uh, Eddie and David, uh, Flynn, man custard writer, mm -hmm. says, dance partner from last night? You know, little short, short yeah. girl about this tall. Little short, short girl kind of wild. Oh, 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 yeah. Susan. No. Close enough. Almost. Give you a middle name. Yeah, what's true? Okay. Uh, the order operator goes, who is Susan? <laughs> oh, you'd like her. She's a doll. Mm -hmm. uh, I see. Uh, everybody, perception check. Oh, eight. Six. Eight. Fourteen. Man, some of you guys suck on the <laughs> dance uh, Linda and Smooka, you hear yelling and screaming outside. There is a window you can look out. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll do the window this time before rushing yeah, in. Yeah, I'll look out the window as well. Yeah, uh, I'll look out the window as well. As David and Eddie try to explain, a la Dodgeball, who the guy dressed as the pirate is, mm -hmm. uh, so that Flynn can figure out who the <laughs> dance partner is, uh, Smooka and Linda go over to the window and see a half-naked large man bleeding from several locations, wildly swinging a club, yelling, I'll kill him if I can find him! <laughs> uh, Close the door. Uh, Eddie Ooh, David, the door. One of you D12. We need to not go out the front. Sure, I've been so great at these tonight. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Bethany? Is that, is that it? Short oh, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Right. Yes. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. the count's daughter. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I'd be happy to meet her again. Let's go out the front and you guys can take me to the keep. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all for this plan. Okay. Yeah. I'm all for this. Now, Linda and John. Um, you... I don't think we should go out the front, guys. No. We are not going out Definitely the back. Definitely not. The... No. We're not, <laughs> we're not going out the front. <laughs> well. Now, out have the front fun. is not an alley. Okay. That doesn't make it better. That's true. Well, I'd, 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 I'd rather dodge uh, chamber pots than deal with this uh, old mm -hmm. or whatever mm -hmm. it is. So. Yeah, I mean, I'm not opposed to sneaking out the back the, here. The but... puffy shirt guy is out front. Mm. And pissed. The puffy shirt guy is out front. Mm -hmm. I don't think you want to go out the front. And he's angry. No, no, no. We, we, no, we, we, we will go out the back. back. No, we need to go out the back. Okay, well... Okay. Here's what we'll Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do. I'll take off my arm sling, and that way he won't recognize me. And okay. then I'll go out the front. I'll go out the front with Flynn. <laughs> okay. And I'll like mess up my hair or something. Mm. Okay. Cool. And the other three are going out the back. Yeah. Guess so. Give me a deception. Check I'll go out the front with Flynn. Sure. He didn't with me. Okay, that's fair. Oh wow. Oh, wow. 22. Uh, clearly, the ogre is not very intelligent. Looks <laughs> at you and Linda and those blue piercing eyes uh, and totally <laughs> ignores you. Mm -hmm. 
out the back, John cool. or David, which one of you wants to go out the door first? <laughs> Neither. <laughs> I mean, I got stubby legs in comparison. <laughs> Probably not me, but. <laughs> okay, I'm the one that got us into this mess. I'll go out first. Thank you. Yes, you did. Smooka opens up the back door, lunges outside, and notices it is a beautiful day. Mm-hmm. It's, a, mm-hmm. it's a beautiful day. There's a small pen of hens mm-hmm. right there, uh, and there's a dirt trail leading back up to the gambling hall uh, mm-hmm. where the monk fight was at. Mm-hmm. Uh, not a building in sight. Uh, David tentatively steps out, looking up just to make sure that nobody throws any things <laughs> on him. Uh, and you too notice that the setting sun is 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 nice and warm, and you guys head out there. Uh, Eddie, Linda, and Man Custard uh, cross the plaza. Eddie and Linda, give me a perception check. Fifteen. There are a lot of girls that know Flynn. <laughs> Everybody's hey, hey Flynn, hey Flynn. Uh, you guys make your way through the closing of the shops, start to go up the hill. John and David, unsoiled, uh, meet you right there at the walled keep. And you guys can go in and talk to Count Valentine. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Who wants to talk to Count Valentine, and what do you want to say? Not I said mage. <laughs> not I said mage. Uh, definitely not me with the eight charisma. All right. Well, I got ten charisma. I'll so. talk to him. All right. I'll talk. Hey, Eddie, what do you want to say to him? Is this guy a good guy, or is this guy a bad guy? This guy is a protector of this women. Guy I'll give you uh, persuasion plus one because you can back up that statement. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> can we do one for each woman? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> five plus one is six. Five plus one is six. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine looks at you and says, uh, I understand he is a philanderer. Mm-hmm. He may be a protector of women, and I see the blood on his knuckles and mm-hmm. those piercing blue eyes, mm-hmm. but I'm not so certain. So, David, D12 against me to see how this ends. Oh, good. 12. Uh, well, mm, well, my again, I was feeling oh. real good about my 8, and then you just had to roll a 12. So. <laughs> The Count signals uh, oh, to goodness. the Seneschal and brings you your reward in gold coins, mm-hmm. uh, but looks at Flynn Rider and says, uh, I myself have discovered other things, and uh, oh, you if may I may, leave. yes, if I may, if you will not take our word for it, if you will not perhaps uh, our Candy Dumint, perhaps, uh, could, change candy could change your mind. Ooh, I pulled that one out. Um, persuade me with the additional information. Not as bad. Uh, <laughs> rolled a nine and I have plus one, so a ten. I can math. I can math. Uh, twelve on my roll. Lady Dument <laughs> is not exactly the okay. most choice. Uh, keen eye for individuals. Uh, you have received your reward. You have successfully made up my mind, and you have successfully retrieved him. Uh, I will now ask you to leave. So, success. <laughs> you guys, you guys <laughs> did find him, and you got paid. So you yeah. successfully completed the adventure. Mm. Uh, the good news is, uh, had you convinced him, and then he would have screwed around, which would have been the D12 against David, yeah. uh, the count would have had a problem with you. Yeah. Wow. So, 
Okay. This is the best yeah. best choice scenario. Yeah, no, I, I was not convinced we should try to vouch for this dude. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's talking about to, everybody's talking about him affectionately. There's no way that goes well. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if the count would have heard the term man custard to yeah. his daughter, mm. that probably would have gone well. I mean, why has it got to be such a prude, yeah. you know? You know, it's just, just young love. Uh, but you guys did succeed. You found him and you got paid. So okay, the heroes good. of Dagger Tooth maintain their credibility. Mm. John, Take what'd, you, love. John Take what'd, love. what'd you think? <laughs> This has got to be the funniest game of D and D I've ever played. <laughs> You've played with me before. I've had funny games. <laughs> no, this, this this one was the best. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll I'll take that. Yeah. Eddie, what'd you think? Loved it as usual. Right, I'm, Loved glad, it as usual. I'm glad you weren't a wanker again. Oh wait, that was. <laughs> I was wankering James one time. Mm -hmm. I was wankering. Mm -hmm. Uh, David, new to Murder Hobo, what'd you think? Oh, I had a lot of fun, and it was nice to get to play Five E. I don't, I usually run, and I, when I play, most of the people who are running are playing something else. But I, def it was nice to get back and play some Five E. And I, I'm going to echo what John said. This was very <laughs> funny, and I greatly enjoyed it. Well, good. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. Linda, finish us out. What'd you think? Oh, I had a blast as always. Oh, I had a blast as always. It was so much fun. Mm -hmm. But, you know, this time I didn't get to grab anybody's nuts, so. You, you could have been seduced by a man custard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I should have been that's true. I should have been smolder on you. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Folks at home, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. Ending Murder Hobo Con. Uh, sorry you missed it, but we're glad that you tuned in. Don't forget, follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D. &D. Join our Discord. If you want to buy our crap, the link is down there. If you want custom dice, go over to Twitter. Hit up at Pirate Dog Dice. See if they got time to make it. If you want uh, some aromatic scents, for the most part, uh, to tune up your game, Go on over to oddfishgames.com and check out their Adventure Sense line. 60, 60 different scents. Uh, and I'll tell you, I love them all, uh, even when Kyle choked to death. <laughs> For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we appreciate you watching. Let's give them a big old dating game kiss and wave and get out of here. Mwah. Bye, everybody. <laughs>